What is the excretory system? During different metabolic activities taking place in our body, the body produces many substances of which some are useful while the others are useless that is not required by the body. If retained in the body, the useless unwanted substances may become poisonous and cause much harm and in severe cases even death. The organs which remove these unwanted and toxic substances from the body are called excretory organs. The process of removal of unwanted and harmful metabolic waste substances is called excretion. Substances to be excreted Urea and uric acid, that is nitrogenous waste. These are produced as a result of the breakdown of excessive amino acids in the liver. If allowed to accumulate in the body, these are harmful. Bile pigments. These are formed in the liver. They give a yellowish tinge to the urine. Excess of bile pigments become harmful, hence they are removed from the body. Water. Water is taken in with food and beverages in large quantities. Plenty of water in the body is essential for washing out of the nitrogenous waste. The body retains some water required as a normal constituent while the excess water is removed from the body in different ways. Extra salts such as the common salt NaCl, sodium and chloride ions or any other ions are needed in the body only in certain proportions. Any extra quantity must be removed. Extra salts are expelled along with the urine. Extra vitamins. The vitamins absorbed from the food may be in excess. The fat-soluble ones are stored in the body to some extent, but the extra water-soluble ones such as vitamin B and C are passed out in urine. Similarly, certain medicines including antibiotics, if taken in extra quantity, are passed out along with urine. Excretion is the removal of all toxic and unwanted metabolic waste products from the body. The excretory system. The renal excretory system or simply excretory system in humans consists of a pair of kidneys, two ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Kidneys. The two reddish brown bean shaped kidneys are situated towards the back of the abdomen, one on either side of the backbone at the level of the last two ribs. The right kidney is located slightly lower than the left one. Ureters. A narrow tube called the ureter runs from the inner side of each kidney up to the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder. It is a muscular bag situated in the lower abdomen. Urethra. Leading from the urinary bladder in a single median tube called the urethra opening to the outside, it is longer in the males and shorter in the females. Structure of the kidney Internally, each kidney is composed of an outer darker region called cortex and an inner lighter region called medulla. The medulla drains the urine into a funnel-shaped structure called the renal pelvis. The ureters originate from here. Nephrons Inside the kidney, there are millions of microscopic tubular structures called renal tubules or nephrons. Each nephron starts as a cup-like Bowman's capsule which continues behind as a narrow tubule. The tubule is convoluted that is twisted and opens into a collecting duct. All the collecting ducts then open into the renal pelvis which leads into the ureter. Nephron is a structural and functional unit of the kidney. Rule of kidneys in urine formation The kidneys are made up of millions of microscopic units called nephrons. They are surrounded by a network of blood capillaries. The main function of the nephrons is to filter the blood, purify it and to produce urine. Blood which enters the kidney through the renal artery contains unwanted waste substances as well as some useful substances. The nephrons remove the waste substances such as excess water, mineral salts and urea from the blood and convert it into urine. They also reabsorb certain useful substances like glucose, sodium and potassium ions that are needed by the body and put it back into the blood. The blood that finally leaves the kidney is pure, devoid of all waste and contains the right amount of water and other useful substances required by the body. 
The urine that is found in the kidneys is sent to the ureters for its further temporary collection in the urinary bladder. When the bladder is full, the urine is expelled to the outside through the urethra. This process of expulsion of the urine to the outside is called urination. The normal human urine mainly contains of water, urea, uric acid and some amount of mineral salts. Accessory excretory organs that is the skin, lung, liver and salivary glands. Besides kidneys, some other organs also help in removal of waste products. They are called the accessory excretory organs. In human beings, the skin, lungs and liver are such organs. Excretory role of skin. The major excretory function of the skin is production of sweat which on evaporation from the surface of the skin causes cooling. Sweat is secreted by sweat glands which are located underneath the skin. These glands have ducts which open on the surface of the skin. Through these ducts, sweat comes out of the body. Sweat is composed of excess water, salts and traces of urea and uric acid. Excretory role of lungs. Carbon dioxide is produced during the breakdown of glucose during respiration. This passes from the blood into the lungs and is exhaled through the nose. Excretory role of liver. Breakdown of amino acids is liver produce urea. Urea is then carried to the kidneys from where it is excreted out in the urine. Liver also helps in the elimination of bile pigments, extra vitamins and many drugs which get accumulated there. Osmoregulation. Besides removing urea and uric acid from the blood, the kidneys also help in maintaining the water and salt concentration in it. This process is called osmoregulation, that is regulation of water and salt content. During summer, we urinate fewer times than in winter and the urine pass is usually more concentrated. The reason being that in summers we lose much water through sweat. Common disorders of the urinary system Kidney stones They are formed when crystal forming substances such as calcium oxalate, calcium phosphate and uric acid are more than the fluid in the urine. When these chemicals start sticking together, they form crystals commonly called kidney stones. They may be formed in any area of the excretory system and cause severe pain. They block the flow of urine if they are present in the ureters, urinary bladder or urethra. Very often they have to be removed surgically. It is important to drink sufficient water each day to prevent the formation of these crystals in one's body. Urinary tract infection. It is an infection of any part of the urinary system, the kidneys, urethra, urinary bladder or ureters. It occurs when bacteria gain entry into the urinary tract and overcomes the body's defense present there. Common symptoms include a strong and frequent urge to urinate and a painful burning sensation while urinating. It is treated with antibiotics and can be cured within 2-3 to three days of treatment in case of mild infections. Diabetes Presence of glucose in the urine indicates that the person is suffering from diabetes mellitus. This is a disease in which the sugar level in the blood is much higher than the normal level. The excess sugar is excreted out through the urine. Presence of blood cells in the urine may indicate an infection, tumor, internal bleeding or damage to the kidneys. What happens when kidneys fail? Sometimes one or both the kidneys may stop working properly. This may happen if they become infected, seriously injured or damaged due to some reason. A person can well manage with just one kidney, but if both fail, the blood soon becomes loaded with urea and other waste substances. If nothing is done in such situations, the person may die. One of the treatments for such a person is to use a machine which filters and cleans the blood. This process is called dialysis. A person with complete kidney failure needs regular dialysis done in hospital to lead a normal life. As an alternative, a patient with both kidneys damaged can undergo kidney transplant from a suitable donor. The donor can live normally with one single kidney and the recipient gets a lease of life.